Hi guys, so today we'll be making this beautiful handbag. So I have it in black and there's also bookmarks in the bag. Orange, multicolor, and a solid color and, and a multicolor. And this size is approximately seven inches just before the handles it's seven inches approximately with the handles to the top of the handles is approximately 10 inches So as I said before, we're going to do the base color in orange and then we're going to do the top, the last two rows in multicolor. So we're going to start off by making a slip knot. And for those who don't understand how I use my hands to do it, I'm going to just display on the table. So we make an X. And we're going to put our fingers through here and grab not the tail end but the working end we're going to pull that through until it tightens so then we'll insert our hook through like so and tighten it so we're going to make a chain of 21 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and twenty one and we're gonna make three extra chains one, two, three, and into the sixth chain, so we're counting back, one, two, three, four, five, six, we're going to yarn over and make a double crochet into the sixth chain, so we're going to place a double crochet into the top of the chain, pull up that loop, yarn over pull it through yarn over and pull through again to make our double crochet so when we skipped our five chains three chains will act as a double crochet and two chains will act as going on to the next row so we make chain two again after we make our double crochet and this is what this chain two will act as so after we made our chain two we're going to go into the third chain one two three i'm going to repeat that pattern chain two yarn over go into the third chain and make our double crochet so for larger bags you can just go up 10 more stitches plus the three chains so for a larger bag than this one you can make a chain of 31, 41, 51, depends on the size you desire, plus your three chains, so we're going to make double crochet, chain two, double crochet into the third chain until the end, And 
and this is the last double crochet of this row so now we're gonna chain two and we're gonna make double crochets into this space here which is where the beginning of the row started which is where our first chain started so yarn over and make a double crochet and now we're gonna make two more so we're gonna chain two yarn over place another double crochet here chain two again yarn over and place one more double crochet in the same space so those two double crochets are in the same space so we basically made a semicircle or half a circle so there's one two three so it's going this way so now we're gonna work back this way I'm making chain two and work double crochets on top of each double crochet and I'll meet you back when we get to this last one here So now that we have gotten back to this last double crochet, we're going to place our double crochet on top of that. We're going to chain two and we're basically going to mimic our semicircle that we made on this end where we made one, two, three. We're gonna create that here by making one, two, and this corner piece here is gonna be our third post. So after we've chained two, we're gonna go into this spot here and make our double crochet. chain two again yarn over oh no sorry when we got when we get to this part after we chain two we're gonna make a slip stitch on the third chain So there we have our three it basically mirrors the other end so this is the corner base of our bag and we're gonna continue working in rounds and these two sides are gonna be the corner of the bag 
So now we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna place into the next post, which is this one. This is going to be our next post here. So we're gonna place a double crochet on top of this post. So we chain five for the side. It's gonna act as a double crochet, a double crochet, and a chain two. So now we make a double crochet here and chain two again. I repeat what we've been doing all along, which is chain two, double crochet on our post. Chain two, double crochet, and repeat the process. So we're basically going to repeat a chain two double crochet onto every post. And I'll meet you when we get just before this corner here. So you can pause your video and make your double crochets, chain two. crochet chain two again double crochet chain two and now we've reached this point so we're gonna place double crochet on each post chain two yarn over and double crochet yarn over double crochet Chain two, we're going to repeat that till we meet our chain five or first chain five of this row. So now that we've reached our chain five of this row, we're gonna look for the third chain. So this is the first chain here, second, and on the third chain, we're gonna place a slip stitch. And every row begins with chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we want to yarn over and repeat our 
double crochet, chain two, double crochet for each row. So when we get back around to this side, we're gonna slip stitch on our third chain of our chain five. So I'm gonna repeat the process, chain two, Double crochet, chain two, double crochet again, pull some yarn to work with, chain two, double crochet, chain two, chain two double crochet and this is gonna be our repeat pattern for the entire bag You can also see the difference in where the corner of the bag is compared to the sides of the bag. So this is the corner. This is also the corner of the bag. And this is the side. Right? So we're going to repeat this process. always remember to slip stitch onto the chain 5 onto the third chain of the chain 5 to end the row we must always slip stitch on the third chain of the chain 5 and we always start our new row with chain five. So now that we've gotten back to our chain five, this is gonna be our joining point. We're gonna count one, two, three, and slip stitch. Now we're gonna chain five, one, two, three four five to begin our next row and we're going to repeat this process for each row so we're going to repeat this process until row 10 and row 11 and 12 is where we're going to change the color into our multicolor for these two rows for the last two rows we're gonna use the multicolor to make our handle so let me go again and show you how to do one row so we've chained five for the beginning of our row place a double crochet in double crochet chain two make another double crochet on every post chain two 
double crochet chain two double crochet chain two double crochet Chain two, double crochet on top of our previous post in our previous row. Chain two, double crochet. Chain two, And now we've gotten back to the beginning of this row where our chain five we're gonna count one two three and make a slip stitch on the third chain and tighten it and we're gonna repeat this process one two three four five So the chain five is always gonna count as the beginning of each row. So we're gonna repeat this process until we reach row 10. And this is how our bag looks so far. So you can see that it rests nicely in the shape that we desire. And this is how the corner looks the bottom and the other corner so I'm gonna meet you back and we're gonna work our rows until we reach row 10 you can continue the same pattern until we reach the handles and when we get to the handles I'm gonna show you how we complete the handles so repeat this process until row 10 I'm gonna meet you back where we do the handles in a different color but the process is the same regardless of the color for each bag so now that we have gotten to the ninth row this is row one two three four five six seven eight nine i'm going to start off the tenth row with you guys because this will be the last row in this color so i'm at the beginning of the row where i have to chain five one two three four five and repeat the same process
So now we're back at our chain five. We're gonna count one, two, three. Go into the third chain, make our slip stitch. Now we're gonna cut off our yarn. So you leave enough room to weave in the ends and pull through to tighten. And now we're gonna change into our multicolor. So now we're gonna attach the yarn, the multicolor. Just show you guys how the ball looks. It's very, very pretty. So we're gonna attach our multicolor where we stopped. So I like to secure it by making a knot first. Just gonna pull it through with the needle and leave enough tail so it can weave in after. Just making a simple knot exactly where we stopped. And we're gonna place a knot there just to secure. And tighten it. I'm gonna go into the space and make a chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. So after you've made your chain, five we're gonna go into the next and make a double crochet chain two a double crochet chain two and a double crochet Now we're gonna make a chain of 23. One, two. Twenty-three. So that is going to be part of our handles. So we did three blocks. One, two, three. We chain twenty-three, and now we're going to count five blocks over. One, two, three, four, five, and onto the last post here of the fifth one. We're going to make. A double crochet to the top and basically re repeat the process of our double crochet chain two double crochet so we're gonna make four blocks so this is one block we're gonna make three more and then we're gonna chain 23 again And now we're gonna chain 23. Let's get some yarn. One, two, three. Twenty three. So this is our second handle, and now we're going to go now. 
in the post just before our first post which is this one and make a double crochet chain two and now we're gonna slip stitch on the third one two three and we're gonna go on top of this row and our chains and repeat our chain two double crochet So now we're going to chain five because this is on your row. Two, three, four, and five. I want to repeat this process of double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Placing double crochets on each post, and when we get to our handle that we made, we're gonna do the same process that we had before, which is going to the third chain one, two, three, and place our double crochet. So, this is our second row of our handle, second and final row. So we're going to go into the third chain and place our double crochet. One, two, and three. So the process is going to repeat itself until we've reached the end where we tie off, make a slip knot and tie off our work, and then weave in our ends. One, two, three. So I'm going to meet you guys back. When I'm done making the rounds of our handle. So this is gonna be the handle and I'm gonna make chain two double crochet chain two right until we've come back to our chain five where we place our slip knot and pull out pull through our yarn cut our yarn and pull it through and then we're gonna meet back to weave in our ends. Now that we have gotten to our <clears throat> last post, so we're gonna make a double crochet here, and now we're gonna chain two and slip stitch. On the third chain, one, two, three, slip stitch on the third chain, chain one, and cut our yarn. Now we're gonna tie off our loose ends. So this is our finished bag just before we tie off our ends, the handles, the base, so now we're gonna take our needle shimmer it through So I like to go, I won't put this color into the orange, so I like to go into the multicolor, into the same color, 
and weaving my ends. So I'm going to start by using the blunt side of my needle, not the pointy side, the blunt side. And going in, weaving it in. Just picking up some of the yarn, going through some. So that it gives a tighter hold. So I'm gonna go across this way now. I'm going to go in several times so that the work is secured because you won't want your work coming loose or when it's time to clean it by washing it unravels so I go into the work as much as I can by picking up some of the yarn some of the strands parts of the strands and uh, so when you're done just pull it so it's secure go as close as possible without cutting anything extra and snip so that's how I weave in my ends I'm gonna do the rest so if you turn your bag inside out we'll have the starting chain and where we change the color we'll have these two to weave in and then I'll meet you back when I'm done weaving in all my work and I'll show you the rest of bags that I have so in total we are supposed to have 10 rows plus these two rows to make 12 rows including our handles so i usually pair my bags with a bookmark and sell it as a combo